Well, August is Black Business Month, and every Thursday of this month, we've been highlighting a different black-owned business right here in Senla. Victoria Watson joins us now in the studio to tell us about the last business we're highlighting for this August. Victoria, I hear you discovered another place with homemade comfort food. That's right, Johnny. Pop's Place General Store and Restaurant opened over three years ago in Pineville when owners Robert Williams and Sheila Burns wanted to find a way to give back to the community. With Robert's love for cooking, they decided to open up the restaurant Pop's Place. Pop's Place serves homemade comfort style food with daily plate lunches or food made to order. Pop's Place started as an empty building but later transformed into a general store and restaurant. Off, after opening, both Robert and Sheila realized how popular Robert's cooking was and the restaurant became their main focus. They both saw this business as an opportunity to bless the community in any way that they could. We have people that come through that uh, don't have enough money sometimes um, and we're like, hey, you're not going to leave here hungry. You're going to get something to eat and, and that's what we're all about. We enjoy giving back to the schools to our community, to anyone in need. When you come here, we want you to leave happy. That's what we're about. We're about having fun. We get up, we dance with the uh, with every everyone that comes in. We, we allow them to sing. We allow you to just be free, to do what you want to do. It's almost like this is your home too. So when you come here, you're coming to a place of comfort. To learn more about Pop's Place and ways to support this local black owned business, you can head over to our website. We'll also have their Facebook page linked there too. While August may be coming to an end, it's the perfect time to support local businesses in Sin Law. You can see our previous coverage from Black Business Month over on our website, kaob.com. Back to you, Johnny.